So this is stage seven of uh, Rally Monte Carlo. It was my first stage win, so uh, I'm going to run you through it and uh, see what I think. So the first corner going to the stage, it's an almost flat right. I take it flat, the car's moving a little bit. At that point, I've kind of decided that we're having a big push in this stage. Uh, quite a busy first section, and just as you come around the left, we go into the shade and it just begins to start getting a little bit damp. So being a little bit aggressive with the car through the left, just to try and generate some tire temperature. We've got the medium left here, opens up, and then we go back into the sun, into the, uh, into the fast section. At this point now, I'm a about 0.2 of a second down on, on Loeb uh, and then just as we start to go into the fast section I start to make it up uh, right up the hill uh, we're approaching the corner where I have the only moment of the stage uh, very fast right and slightly too quick through the left with the ruts almost touch the curb on the outside but get away with it uh, made the time back back up on Seb now and uh, now it's uh, just about being very committed for the remainder of the stage moving into the uh, the faster section now very busy trying to keep the pace notes really really simple um, we've got quite heavy break-ins for a lot of the parts so we're generating the hybrid so we don't really need to manage the hybrid too much at this point but in places like this left and right now on the outside there's a curb so keeping the lines very clean is really important through here i probably give away a tenth through the left hand corner just with a slow pace note and then into the next left we're kind of back on perfect pace notes so now beginning to approach very very fast section just a slight left through through the dip and then just down one gear throw it into the left back on the throttle right left small break into the right and then open up the throttle down one gear for the left down a second for the right and then a nice twisting left right left through here Here I had a caution on the pace notch just because of the bank on the outside, can't allow to let the, the car slip. And then again, ultra fast section, flat through the left, flat through the right. And again, just keeping the car absolutely committed. The car is absolutely pinned, so easy to drive. And then through the left right there, I had a small moment on the first pass going through slightly left, so just taking it a little bit easier there. Then the right opens. Another fast section up here, there's a corner coming up, uh, left hand of which we weren't quite sure whether it was flat or not. Just a very, very small lift to keep the car settled, no no giving away any time sliding. And then entering towards the town for a, uh, for a medium right. At this point, we're generating every all the hybrid well, no problems, not really struggling with anything. And then in, in, a, in a minute we go into a section which is quite a lot faster. And in my prep, in my notes, I'd already marked that this was an area where using the hybrid in efficient places would make a difference. So patient here on the throttle, full hybrid. And at this point now I'm seeing down, I've lost a little bit of the hybrid and into this right, it should be flat. But I have a small break, go over the critical point, generate the hybrid. And now into the right, I go down two gears, through the left, and now I have hybrid all the way down the back straight. And when I've checked the videos comparing to everyone else, I'm pulling a good few tenths um, down this one straight with the uh, extra power from the hybrid very very slippy right here small cut on the on the entry and then just very very slippy through the bridge so just be very very patient now we go on to a slightly different characteristic of the stage slightly more broken tarmac but also extremely shiny in places very very slippy so having the right amount of energy going in the car not sliding the car allowing it was just where it needed to be at this point now I'm about half a second to a second quicker than Seb and this is where I really start to open the gap I tap the barrier actually there on the inside but get away with it go into the right through to the left very busy section just starting to get a little bit damper so getting your braking points right you can make the time up and pretty much that was perfect this left here was was a flat left but just with the right coming up so quickly and the on the exit just a very slight break to settle the car and now again very very slippy for a section just very 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 careful with the throttle not wasting the hybrid and into the left okay on the first pass this surprised me how slippy it was still tracks of dampness going through the right hook the left they had the car straight one braking half and right almost stole the car there but quick uh, stamp on the clutch and uh, I saved it was no problem
So we're now beginning to approach the, the end of the the uh, of the hairpin section, which is where I tended to make throughout the stage the most amount of time on on everyone else. Just very clean, one break ins, always careful on the throttle. And now we start to go into a more medium flow of corners. Long right that tightens here, nice and clean. No oversteer left, small lift into the right, back on the throttle. Coming down here, this right was flat, but keeping it clean again. And then finally, the last hairpin into the left. Pull the right. Oh, it's, yeah, it's the last hairpin. I thought there was another one then. Oh, there was. So I don't know the stages that well. This is the last hairpin. And then we start to emerge into the uh, into the sun. Conditions begin to dry. Now this is the point where the, the soft tires will begin to move around a little bit more. The, sp the general flow of the stage begins to go faster. At this point now, I've got so much confidence in what the car's doing. I just throw it into this left. Just keep it pinned in the car. The front comes back to me. It's just incredible what the car was doing at this point. Just a lot of grip here. Only place of a small amount of snow on the inside been dragged out. Just careful. And then here, through the hairpin. Small dab of the handbrake just to rotate the car. Into the right. Careful through the left. Don't give away too much on the entry. Get the exit speed. And actually at this point now, on the before the stage started, I was watching uh, Taka and I'd seen that he broke too early into the right and had to come off the throw, off the brake and back onto it again. So I got my braking point from Taka's second run in there. I got it absolutely bang on. Used the white house on the outside as a reference. Loaded up. Small locking of the front left wheel, but still made the apex nice and clean. Here, still a nice very section. Small brake, just roll it through the right. And then this section I like here. Turned in too early, but I just had so much confidence the car, I just gave it one big uh, whack of lock and it still stuck, it was amazing. And then this section again, WRC Plus helped me here. I was watching Elvin, he went in too quick into this corner, understeered a little bit wide. So I used his braking point as a reference. And then again, going through this right, opens and tightens. Then there's a very, very fast left here that tightens. Elvin was the only one to take it flat, so if Elvin can take it flat, I can take it flat. Turned out to be easy flat, up a nice section here, very, very fast, and this now was absolutely perfect on the brakes. One brake, car rotates off the throttle, car rotates again slightly, helps me with the turning back on the throttle really, really early. Approaching the end of the stage now, slight left, small uh, lift through the uh, the dip, and then two, down two gears, into the left, flat over the right, first stage win. How good did that feel though? You had to wait a few minutes, but yeah. how good did that feel? I saw uh, I saw the time at the end of the stage and I saw 31.9 and I was there like, yeah, no one's beating that. If, if that's beating Seb, no one's beating that in there. So I was pretty confident and I was there like, oh, well, nine-time world champions behind me, so let's let's wait and see. So yeah, I literally came out of the stage, pulled up and uh, spoke to my engineers and said, uh, just just send the splits through and we'll just, we'll just take it easy. And then it came through and I think everyone saw the reaction. So yeah, felt like it took a long time, but it felt good. WRC Plus. All live.